My name is Sharon Shannon and I'm here in Billings, Montana and my passion is drumming. I was introduced to African drumming about 18, 20 years ago and I came up upon that as a belly dancer. I'd say when I started it was just for fun and I learned all kinds of rhythms. Uh, I loved the beat passion and then as I drummed it spoke to me in a different way and I noticed that when I drummed with other people there was a connection regardless of our backgrounds. I found that in the course of my teaching and my studies that there was a whole world of therapeutic drumming and so I pursued that and eventually lost my interest in African drumming and pursued drumming for wellness. Um, I'm a trained drum circle facilitator, which means that I have gone through specific training programs to help me understand the therapeutic values and to not get locked into creating um, specific music. You know, while I will teach um, technique in certain patterns, I don't focus on that. You know, I like people to learn how to feel rhythm rather than to count rhythm. And so they, you know, bypass that analytical mind of understanding music and how to learn music, and they just access that real innate, primitive, you know, um, kind of that cell memory of rhythm, and we all have it. I had a student uh, that was in my dance classes. I also taught dance, and um, I was just beginning to do drumming at that point um, at a more serious level and I would incorporate some drumming in my dance classes and she was a therapist and had a project at the Montana State Women's Prison and asked me what I thought about doing a program at the prison and so I explored that and we kind of tossed around some ideas and eventually a grant was um, given for the program it was a wellness grant and I had a very successful drumming group at the Montana State Women's Prison for three years. We met weekly for about three or for about three hours, and uh, you know the women would um, be required to sign up for like an eight-week or a ten-week class and meet with me and uh, learn not only about uh, specific uh, songs and patterns, but they learned about Africa and the bridging of different people and cultures and in very little time the world got very small for them. I think probably the most remarkable thing in that moment was the feedback from the women inmates and what they found is that for the first time in their incarceration they remembered what it was like to be just a woman. One woman that was in the group, she was a young woman, and it was her first time in prison, and, and she was one of those people that probably made a very poor decision, um, and I, I don't believe she's ever been incarcerated since. She had a college degree and was very interested in the arts. She eventually went on to get a master's degree in expressive arts therapy, and the name of the performing group at the women's prison was called Prison Rhythms. And the women were so inspired by all the, the things that we taught, you know, not just the music, but again, it's about the culture, understanding different countries, our music, our differences, um, that they eventually put on or developed a newsletter in the prison called Prison Rhythms. It's the pure joy of it all. It's a joyful thing to do. Um, you know, it, it, it's my passion, and every time I sit in a drum circle, I have the opportunity to see a group of people come together and make incredible things happen. Absolutely incredible. People that struggle with um, you know, brain disorders, anxieties, fear of performance, people who believe they can't do anything, I have no rhythm, and in a very short period of time, we have instant success. And there aren't many things in life where we get instant success. And, you know, it's so nice to once in a while get that. It's 
speaks to everybody. And the minute somebody sits in a drum circle, it's like, I get it. I get it. This is why it's working. And, you know, it works great in team building. It works great in working with at-risk kids. It works great with very small kids in learning how to hold their attention. It works great with seniors. I've worked with Alzheimer's patients. And that was a remarkable experience. Um, it works for everybody. And if you want to know the truth, I don't change it. If I'm working for somebody as a group of kindergarten kids or if I'm working with senior citizens, other than changing my vocabulary or, or trying to remember age-appropriate vocabulary, it was all the same. You know, it speaks to the individual, to the soul, to our rhythmic beings, not the head, not the ego, to our, you know, the part of us that were all the same. And we're all rhythmic beings. I believe that the true rhythm is in the silence. Whether I'm playing the drum or listening to the drum, and I'm always very aware of my rhythm in life. And when you play a drum, uh, regardless of what you're playing or how you're playing or who you're playing with, you know when you're in harmony. You know when it feels good and you know when it sounds good. So you have all these external reminders of what being in balance and harmony and in good rhythm you know, feels like. And so even when I'm not with that drum, I'm real acutely aware of what it feels like when I'm not in rhythm. You know, when you put aside all the appearances, um, whatever our backgrounds are, underneath it all, we're all the same. You know, we're all people just trying to get through our life, learning from our experiences, our mistakes, trying to right our wrongs, and making the best out of our struggles.